That's a great question. And probably not until, you know, high school, but all of this is, is kind of like a lot of things in society, right? It's just moving at, at warp speed and it's hard to catch up. But just a few years ago, we didn't really even know what, what all of that meant, right? You know, you see it on ESPN, but what did it mean to, to Mike Bianco and Ole Miss? Like, you know, we had a track man you know, set up in our stadiums for so many years before we even knew we were inputting the information for Major League Baseball, but we weren't using the information. You know, they were using it to, to, to draft kids and evaluate kids. But, you know, it took us a while to kind of grasp just – how to gather the data to use it, not to necessarily evaluate where that's where it was first became valuable for major league baseball, right? Is how, instead of saying he's got a Clayton Kershaw curveball, does it, is it really a Clayton Kershaw curveball? Right. Does it spin like, does it spin as fast, same axis, the same break up out of hand, all these analytics that you could, you, you could, you could actually objectively look at it. Is it the same versus, you know, just the, the eye test, right? And so they would use it as an evaluation tool, either in the draft or in trades, but they didn't use it as a development tool immediately. And that's one of the reasons that they're starting to hire college baseball coaches to be their pitching coaches, right. because they didn't know how to use it as a development tool. They only use, knew how to use it objectively to compare who had a good fastball and we want that guy. We know that he throws 95, but his 95 is better. Right. It, it does this. It has some vertical you know, break to it and it, it's going to play up a little more. And so we over the years have learned, I think, college coaches and especially in my program have spent a lot of time how to use this data to improve the guys, because it's we don't get as much. We're getting more now. But a couple of years ago, we got like nothing. Like, you know, we, we weren't getting anything from perfect game or, you, you know, you didn't that, that that data from a 16 year old kid wasn't we didn't have it, you know, wasn't we didn't have access to that. But now you're starting to have radar guns that have spin rate on them. And, and so, again, I, I go back to that, you know, uh, you know, our lives, like a lot of things in our life, you know, it's going at warp speed and we're just trying to catch up with it.